button. Never turn. Oh, it's back on. So I know nobody is really watching this IG live, but hey, if you're watching it later or you're new to my Instagram page at this time, but um, I just wanted to pop in real quick because I'm going to be off social media for two or three days. What today? Friday. Um, tomorrow, Sunday, and possibly Monday. Um, I just posted something on my Instagram page about not being distracted. And, um, well, why you can't afford to be distracted. I made an attempt to record this video a couple weeks ago, and I just never got back around to doing it. So, here's why you cannot afford to be distracted, right? Especially as a mother, because we have a great purpose to fulfill here on this earth. And, um, our children's lives are riding on that. Our husband's life, our family, um, there are millions of people that are waiting. There are millions of mothers that are waiting for us to, um, waiting for us to fulfill our purpose. Major cut. One second, y'all. You're not getting any more after this. So there are, sorry for the pause, but there are millions of people that are waiting for you to fulfill your purpose. So if you're out here distracted and getting distracted all willy-nilly, I'm going to need you to get it under control, okay? Because you no longer have time to waste, um, especially now. Like, like, how can we say when people... No, you don't even... Go drink the apple juice. Go drink it. See what I'm saying? See the distraction? As soon as I start recording the video, she want to come bothering me by apple juice. It was not bothering me before, but anyway. Um, we have millions of people that are depending on us for whatever it is that we are called to do. So every single day that we that goes by and we don't pursue the the one thing that God has called us to do it might not be one thing he might he might have given us multiple gifts like me multiple gifts where at one point I was distracted by the fact that I didn't know what gift to focus on and I finally come to realize that I don't need to focus on just one gift I just need to do what God has called me to do because today he might tell me to use one gift and tomorrow he might tell me to use another gift so we don't have time to waste like Every single day that goes by, we do not do something that is directed towards what we are called to do. We are basically being disobedient. So we wonder why we have so much chaos and all kind of craziness going on in our lives. It's because we're not in alignment with the plan that was created specifically for our lives. I did a Facebook Live earlier this morning. Um, and if you're not friends with me on Facebook, go friend me. I'll put my link in um, the description box. So if you click the link, the link, the link tree link, I have my Facebook link there. I do, I do want you to go follow me on Facebook because I'm over there quite a bit. But I, I probably do more lives over there until I get super professional and have two things going at one time. But um, I did a Facebook live this morning talking about how fear was, uh, was hijacking my life. And how I was allowing fear to take over everything. And I was operating through fear. And that's why I have so much chaos and disorder and cycles in my life. And I couldn't understand why I couldn't move forward. But at that time, it was like I had a mask on. So I didn't, you know, we, when you're blind to something, you don't realize how it's affecting your children and your husband. And the people that are directly connected to you, how it's affecting your relationship with God. Because I don't care what nobody says. At the end of the day, for me, I'm connected to God. He's my ultimate creator and he has the best plan for my life. So I was so distracted by fear and just afraid of success and afraid of myself and afraid of being great that I look to other people for them to tell me what I should and should not do to validate me. Um, I was blaming other people and all of that is distraction. A lot of it too is because I felt like I wasn't equipped to do what God was calling me to do. I felt like I didn't have enough resources, which is the same as being equipped. Um, I worried about what people were going to say and think of me, but that didn't matter. Cause as long as if God told me to move, I moved 
that's all that matters. I have to know that he'll direct me and connect the dots, right? So we can, like, I know as a mom, number one, that is the num one reason why we can't be distracted. Like, we can't afford any little thing to come in and distract us. And you know how you know you're distracted when something can come? Say this apple juice. This apple juice can come in front of me. And because I feel like I can't see y'all anymore, I have to stop what I'm doing. I have to quit. I have to take time and move it out the way. And then I can keep going. That's not the case. That's not the case at all. If this apple juice was staying right here in front of me, I have to know that I am able to keep going even if y'all can't see me, even if I can't move the apple juice out the way. Um, I have to keep going and keep focused on the plan and the destiny for my life because I can't leave anybody behind. Meaning my children, number one, like their legacy is riding on me. So when something comes in front of me and try to distract me, I got to be able to look around it still until it moves completely out of my way. Go get it. Go get it. Bubby what? Straw. Go get the straw. Major, give her the straw, please. See what I'm saying? Go get Lilo straw. I don't have any more straws. Go get it. It's not in the truck. It's in the room. It's in the room, Ari. See what I'm saying? So my children come and they're going to distract me all the time. And we can easily use our children as excuses to not do something that we're supposed to do. But if in our reality, our children... In our reality, our children should be used as the reason why we do what we do. The reason why we should keep going. Number two, we got so many different people riding on us. I'll use my husband for example. Um, if my husband doesn't have any direction in his life and does not know what he's supposed to do right now or the like to focus on the plan or the destiny purpose he has for his life, it is up to me to stay focused. Like, I can't get distracted by the fact that my husband doesn't seem to know what to do right now. Or the fact that he's not clear on what it is he's supposed to be doing. I got to stay focused because if I show that I am focused on reaching wherever I'm supposed to be and I'm pushing all distractions out of the way, don't you think my husband will eventually get on that same train as well? Now, the third thing is the millions of people that we don't even know, the strangers that are waiting to hear that one word from us or that are waiting to read that one post or listen to this one live. Um, the people that we will probably never meet after we leave this world, but because we fulfilled our purpose and we didn't get distracted, we knew how to handle distractions. The people that are supposed to be touched maybe 20, 30, 40 years from now, 100 years from now when we're long gone and we done left the legacy that we were supposed to leave because we fulfilled our purpose, they'll know who I am. We don't know who we're supposed to touch, but distractions will always be coming along so we can not do what we're supposed to do. Meaning if we're distracted and we if we're distracted and we don't fulfill our what we're supposed to do, the very people that we're supposed to touch 100 years from now may be distracted as well because they were probably supposed to receive something from my legacy, the seed that I planted on this earth. But due to distractions, I got caught up, right? So this is why we can't afford to do that. We have too much riding on us. And in this world we live in today, like everybody is so focused on conformity. Don't lose those keys, Ari. Conformity and perfectionism and being the next Kardashian or having this perfect body, making this amount of money. But it's not about that. On my Facebook Live earlier, I was saying it's about the inner wealth. I have a brand called Fearless Money. And fearless money is all about healing emotionally, getting rid of the emotional debt to achieve financial wealth. We have to be able to handle ourselves because we want God to bless us financially, but we can't even handle our emotions. So we get this money in our hand. We're going to blow it because we don't know what to do. Right? Right? So distractions, get rid of them. You have to become aware of when you're being distracted. 
And you have to be able to keep going. So while I'm out for these two days, enjoy this live and just be prepared for what's coming for Crystal Clayton Glows Incorporated because I'm going to turn this into a global thing. Go follow at Fearless Money Inc. And don't forget that. Share this with people that need to hear it. So until next time, I am out.